So you can feel your heart pounding, your blood pressure rising. You can't think straight. You can't breathe, you can't move, or maybe you wanna run. Those are common reactions to our fight or flight system, also known as our sympathetic system. And this was great because when we were cavemen, this is what kept us alive. Our stress response, it, it's what allowed us to survive. You see, the cavemen, they had a much simpler way of living. They were either eating, sleeping, having sex, or hunting and gathering, or maybe running for their lives, but there was not a lot of in-between. Today, our lives are much, much different. And this antiquated nervous system, it's the exact same. It hasn't changed. But our lives, our lives have changed tremendously. They're full of different degrees of threats and stress. And so modern man, we're not really made for this because it takes a split second to activate that stress response, but it can take more than an hour to reverse it and turn it around. So if you're feeling that heart pounding, the adrenaline flooding your body, you know, some of the more common things that that might be, it could be a phobia, something like glossophobia, the fear of public speaking, or maybe dentophobia, the fear of dentists, people like me. What about anatidophobia? Anatidophobia, anybody know? That's the fear that somewhere, somehow, you are being watched by a duck. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the everyday things in our lives that we encounter. The things from traffic to arguing with a colleague, or maybe it's a tough day at work, or a hard conversation with your teenager. For me, I get home from work and I have a choice. I can either have a relaxing night or I can help my fifth grader with his math homework, but I don't get to do both. And right now during COVID, back in November, a poll came out reporting that over 75% of us are under chronic daily stress. And that's a direct result of us not managing the stresses in our lives well and handling the physiology. So these day-to-day -day stresses, they're creating this endless cycle that it seems unbreakable. But the good news, the good news is modern man, we do have a way to break this cycle. And what better time for that than now? We all wanna live happier, healthier lives, right? And the thing is, is that stress, stress has been linked to everything, everything from the common cold, to heart disease, to cancers, and everything in between. It is literally killing us. The system that was once designed to save us, it is now slowly killing us. So how do we break this cycle? I mean, everybody deserves to know how to do this, right? Well, it does come down to breathing. Now, you're probably fully aware that maybe you're getting ready to board that plane or get on this stage or maybe walk by the duck pond. <laughs> you can slow down your breath and calm your physiology. But, but that's not what I'm talking about. It's how we're breathing all day, every day, day and night. How we're breathing out of habit. Because you see these stressors, the big stressors, the little stressors, did I tell you that they don't even have to be real stressors? It can be what you're remembering from the past or worried about in the future. It's the same chemical response. They cause us to breathe in a very short, shallow way, using our upper chest only, maybe through our mouths. And what we know now, what we know now from a 2017 study out of Stanford is that there's a cluster of cells in our brain and it's their job to monitor how we're breathing all the time and report back to our system, our brains, our bodies, whether we should be fully stressed out or if it's actually safe to relax and heal. That's why you can calm yourself down and you can get on that stage, you can get on the airplane, you can take a picnic by that duck pond. That's why you can do that. But the cells, they're not just monitoring those times when you're under stress and you're thinking about it, they're looking at it all the time. So maybe you're just sitting there watching me up here I'm under stress, you're calm and relaxed. But maybe you're breathing through your mouth a little faster than you need to, using only your upper chest. Those brain cells see that also. And that's what they see
to tell the body, hey, something's not right. It's not okay. We need to keep circulating those stress hormones. And that's what's slowly killing us. So my practice, my dental practice, we specialize in helping people with sleep and breathing disorders and chronic pain such as TMJ. And what I've learned over the last 20 years is that there's a whole lot of different causes and a lot of different treatment tools that I carry around in my belt. But the number one thing, the number one thing that I can teach my patients, and sometimes the only thing they need to understand is how to monitor their breathing and manage it, not just during times of stress, not just during times of pain, but all the time, all day, and all night. So what I'm going to teach you, it's not only life-changing, but it's literally life-saving. And for the people that understand this and truly get it, they're able to build better relationships. They're able to sleep better, feel better, use their brains and their bodies better, be healthier. And if you need just one more reason, studies show it's going to improve your sex life too. So here it is, the perfect breath. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to breathe through your nose if you can. Breathing through your nose has a lot of benefits to it, two of which are it automatically will slow down that breath and allow it, your air to carry further down into your lungs and into your abdomen. And that's exactly what those breath monitoring cells are looking for. Now, some of you may not be able to breathe through your nose, and that's a topic for another day. And it might be a lot easier to fix than you think. Okay? So the perfect breath, it starts with your nose and you're gonna feel it go back to the back of your throat and you're gonna follow that breath down into your chest and carry it all the way down into your abdomen, inhaling there first and exhaling from there first. The perfect breath, it's also been shown to be on average five and a half seconds in and five and a half seconds out for five and a half breaths per minute. Another thing, if you can, maybe more advanced option, but if you can think that you're inhaling calm as you're breathing in and you're exhaling whatever BS stress you have on your plate out, that is going to help. So this is arguably the most important thing that I can share with you guys, my fellow healthcare workers. And the reason is, is as others have already mentioned before, studies show we're reaching record levels of burnouts. Healthcare workers, that means dentists and their teams included, over half of us are officially burnt out. And that is a direct result of the day-to-day -day stresses we're under and we're not physiologically managing well. So I want you to do this with me. I want you to close your eyes for just a minute. We're gonna take a couple practice breaths and we're gonna inhale for the count of four and hold and then exhale. So do this with me, please. I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. Exhale two, three, four, hold. Inhale into your belly, two, three, four, hold. Exhale from your belly, two, three, four, hold. I want you to inhale the calm feelings, two, three, four, hold. And exhale that stress, two, three, four, hold. Okay, open your eyes. Come back to me. So you've just experienced the way, the power that you have to break that seemingly unbreakable cycle because by practicing that perfect breath just a few times a day, what you're actually doing is retraining your physiology so that you're teaching those brain cells up in your head to tell your body and your mind that it is safe to relax and heal, get healthier, live a better life, have better relationships. So please, just do me one favor. I want you to take a few minutes each day and prove your life. And I want you to think to yourself that you're inhaling the happy and exhaling the crappy. Thank you.